I do I interrupt? Hey guys, interrupt? welcome to Story Central. Uh, knitting a I'm, sweater with the boys. Shut up! I am Rudy. The boy. Uh that that one talking over me is Granger. Hello. And I'm Kathy. Hi. Jesus His name is Christ. Merrick. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. That's a, I hate it. I know. Okay. So. <laughs> Who's this the storyteller story today? Who's the storyteller today? I'm gonna speak over you now. How does it feel? Excuse me. <laughs> it's Merrick. Merrick is the storyteller. Merrick, you're the yes, storyteller um, today. My goodness. Yes, I wrote a story in one day because I lost the other one. Holy, f hold on. Can we all just get a moment of silence for Jacob not being here to eat like a fat ass? <laughs> Shit. Uh. Uh. Okay, moment of silence. Good. We don't need it. Fuck this goddamn meeting every single time. <laughs> oh, shit. I bit my water bottle. <laughs> that's for that's for you, Jacob. Oh, jeez. Well, okay. Well, Merrick, uh, tell us the name of your story, please. This has two working titles because I wrote it in one day and didn't delete one of them. So one of them's called "A Trek Through the Woods." The other one's called "Davis's Bizarre Adventure." That's Which a JoJo one? Reference. Both. It's both. It's like title and subtitle, you know what I'm saying? You smack them into one. Davis's Bizarre Adventure, a Trek in the Woods. A Trek in the Woods. Put a call in enough. the middle and boom. It's fixed. <clears throat> I guess I'll start reading that. I'm, I'm gonna name this. I'm, I'm gonna name this one. I trek through Davis's adventure. Is that a motherfucking JoJo reference? Bizarrely. <laughs> there you go. Uh, okay. <laughs> and that's the yeah. woods, a trek through the woods bizarrely with Davis. Yes. Can no. I read that? <laughs> no. All right. All right. Continue. Waking up one day after another. Why is my life so similar to Saltine Crackers? Oh, I, oh whoa, easy Davis there, pal. Easy there. Hold on. <laughs> that was a voice crack and a stutter in a five-second interval. Oh, Holy yeah. moly. <laughs> oh, boy. You know, it's hard to read out loud. Not my forte. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I was going to be as mean as possible. Okay, you go ahead now. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, Papa. You be, you be a better job, kid now. My, uh, my average job, my average wife. The average Lebanese slaves in the basement. God, why is Virginia so goddamn boring? The Le Lebanese <laughs> slaves. A lot, is, a lot is happening right... Wait, what? What's that? What? That's what he said. <laughs> he, said about, he said Lebanese slaves? That's what he said. Yeah. Did you not hear it? Were you so focused? No, are you, so are you not listening? listening? I mean, I'm trying, but like, fucking... There's, it's weird, because it's like, you're saying my... Th I don't... It's like, weird tense. I don't... I don't know. A lot is happening. Uh, dude, we're not camping. The tents aren't weird. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay. God damn. Go, I mean, I'm sorry. God. Please, please continue. <laughs> God, why is Virginia so goddamn boring? What if my life were more interesting? What if I was born into stardom and greatness? What if I made my way into stardom and greatness? And thus it was settled. Davis Ignatius Cumberland Keckner. Big joke. We're traveling Davis, across the woods. Can I hear that name again? <laughs> Davis Ignatius Cumberland Keckner. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. I I I, I thought I never heard something, but you know it's perfectly fine. Okay. We we'll travel across the woods. Davis first thought he should just go without telling anyone. Realizing this was a terrible idea, he fed the slaves and decided to tell his wife. <laughs> beans are up. He fed the slaves. Okay, well, yeah. and then decided to tell his wife. Not about the slaves, about going. Oh, you know? uh, oh now it all makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> the story is a fucking absurdist thing. All right, just so get ready for a whack wild ride. Are what? we in 1810 times? Why are they slaves? Why are they Lebanese slaves or whatever you said? He said Lebanese. What Don't. is happening? You'll learn, dude. You'll learn. Okay. It all. It's all coming together. <laughs> Oh my bad. god. Oh, yeah. I, hate, I shouldn't be doubting the Merrick Cinematic Universe. <laughs> yeah. The MCU. <laughs> it is the MCU. <laughs> the beans are on the table, Martha. I'm going on a trek. Forest style. Davis said. Um, excuse the fuck out of me, but 
fuck you mean, homie? At this moment, David realized his supposed wife was actually a very nice African-American man. Gotta keep it non-racial. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh fuck! It was all Davis could muster before he promptly fled the house. Since when was I married to a black man? Am I gay? Davis thought as he ran whichever way the wind wished. Which... <laughs> what? Somebody saw him. Somebody saw him. What over there? What's going on? <laughs> Someone trying to... I'm gonna go look. Give me a second. Oh. Okay, bye. Good timing. What's that? Wait, so I, was he scared of the black man? What? Why? I, I just... What? There, oh, there's... I saw him down a goddamn tree! That was a cluster! Alright, I'm back. Oh, of course, the Canadians with the lumberjacking. <laughs> uh, Davis thought as he ran whichever way the wind which, wished, which, contrary to popular belief, was actually a rather stupid way to run. Davis ran straight into the heavily wooded area parallel to his now estranged home. Jesus fucking ghostly go Christ, where in the fuck am I? Davis exclaims at the top of his lungs. The woods. <laughs> a ghastly voice calls to him from somewhere beyond his sight lines. You are the forest puppet now. You will follow my every command. That's or you will never said. see the sun. Unbridled by my trees ever again. <laughs> yeah. Shaken by the eerie voice, he responds in a weary tone. What would... What would you have me do then? Oh, uh, I would have you collect 139,377 brown rocks. Then, uh, oh, de damn it. <laughs> defeat you, Mirror Thagnor, and pilfer yeah, some yeah. rotting graves through my murderers in the late 80s. And, That's uh, like that should be good. Oh. Wait a second, Davis thought to himself. These are very similar to the Mans of Claptra from the very popular Borderlands oh, series. Specifically, the second installment, Borderlands 2. Yeah, I don't are remember you... Merrick. the thing about the grades in the 80s, though. Merrick, yeah. you're so fucking fired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> are you the character Claptrap from the hit game series, Borderlands? God, there's more! Oh, hold on. <laughs> One second. <laughs> One second. Give me a second. <laughs> Guys, clap right now. Go. Okay, I I had to go just take a shit in the toilet because how much fucking things are happening right now. <laughs> I, I had to relieve some sort of stress. Yeah. Now please, on, can you give... can you take me back through what you just were saying? Yeah, in layman's okay. terms. Which is what the fuck just happened? <laughs> I'll read it slowly. Please, thank you. Wait a second, Davis thought to himself. These are very similar to the demands of Claptrap from the very popular Borderlands oh, series. I got Dead Steel's <laughs> part. Specifically in the second installment. Okay, hold on. Can I, give me a, can I just walk through things as best as I understand and can you correct me? Mm hmm Okay. So there's a man named Davis. Mm -hmm. He's in the woods in Virginia. And he thought his wife was his wife, but he's like, no, that's a black man. What the fuck is happening? And then he was scared of it, which is kind of questionable, but... We're just gonna leave that alone. It's uh, his it wife alone. turned into someone else. Y yeah, but why do you gotta be black though? It's You'd revealed. Be scared of anybody's. Okay. It's it's <laughs> all comes together, huh? It, this okay. this includes in your fucking MCU. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you in. I'm gonna let you in. No, don't let me in. The spoilers. It doesn't actually. It doesn't actually. <laughs> it doesn't it's actually do any. So you just. Okay, you know, I, why question it, the author? It, no, it, it makes sense, but it's like, the way you're putting it, then yeah, it's not really necessary. And then he put, uh, he was just like, I'm going on a trek in the woods. Not a bizarre adventure, because that would be copyright infringement, <laughs> and I can't do that. So then he went on a walk in well, the woods. It wasn't that he, he got spooked and then ran away. Oh. Yeah. Okay, and then... He claptraps talking to him, and he really loves claptrap. <laughs> He's got to go in great detail. Of, wow, <laughs> is that the claptrap? There's like, I think four lines. Of it. Jesus <laughs> fuck! <laughs> this is not sponsored by Borderlands, everybody. <laughs> yep. Um. Anyways, continue. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Where was I? Oh, okay. I'll just fucking... 
Are you the character Claptrap from the game series Borderlands that was released in 2012? Which to this day still continues to have developer support. Wow. Davis quoted. Claptrap, dumbfounded being figured out so quickly, responds in his normal voice. Well, yes. Yes, you figured it out. I may as well come out now. Claptrap miraculously appears before Davis, not unlike anime girls when they turn into their battle forms. Davis? I've already done this joke. Wait, that? no, that story's that gone. Mean? You don't know? Uh-oh. Oh, okay. When did you do that joke? Did you have anything to do with titties? That's not... I, it was a long time ago, dude. Well, then, <laughs> it's not playing to Was this story from Spawn joke? Or... Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't exist no more. Damn, too, fa too fucking bad. But what's this about a battle form? What is that? Uh, it's whenever I... their, their titties flop around or something. I'm not sure. It's fucking. I can't explain it. People, maybe they'll spin know. around and their fucking parts of their body glows, including their titties. I think. Okay. Yeah, and then they turn into like fucking max or some shit. I don't know. Why is that how that no, works? No. I'm not familiar. Neither am I. I just know it's a thing. What the fuck then? <laughs> <laughs> is this what you're talking about earlier? With Clap knowledge, is not the same as understanding. Does Claptrap have yes. a big pair of bazongas? <laughs> <laughs> no, but <laughs> I wish he did. Yeah, it's not a true I, I love girl battle crap. for man, I guess. What? Pardon? Uh, what? I nothing. I didn't Jeez. say anything. Uh, okay. Who are you? Who, yeah, where's know. Davis right now? Yeah, still in the forest, bro. Damn. Okay. Davis, taken aback by the whole situation, proceeds to cry for the next 20 minutes. Oh. Whilst Davis is weeping, Claptrap consoles him and tells Why him that living... Pardon? Is he just crying just cuz? This is the beauty of Claptrap, dude. Oh. Yeah, me. Oh, these big old titties, I get it. Yep. I and, and tells him that living isn't about achievement or the gratitude of others. It is about self-acceptance and self-satisfaction. Davis... Done is crying, wipes his teary, snotty face, and exclaims, What the fuck is happening? Claptrap. I'm right with you, Davis. <laughs> Davis, right please. Give us our answers. Stunned by the sudden outburst, announces, It is now my time to leave, child. Take what I have told you and live a happy and fruitful life. Claptrap is Jesus with titties. Ah, you understand. <laughs> and with that, he disappeared and left Davis alone in his puddle of piss shit and calm. Davis proceeds to walk through the forest, his mind heavy with thoughts. He decides he must find a place to stay for them. I must find a place to sleep tonight, says Davis, as if mocking the narrator. They already know, dummy. I told them. And so on, Davis trekked until he found a convenience store in the middle of the woods. Strange, Davis thought to himself. What is a convenience store doing in the middle of the woods? Dude, is this the gas station light? Man, Davis is really good at just repeating, the, just being a parrot <laughs> for the narrator. <laughs> As he walked into the corner... Of... Oh, shit. Sorry. What kind of convenience store is it? Quickie uh, Mart? You'll learn. Is Apu there? there he can be. Can, can I get a quickie from Apu? Oh, no. No. <laughs> Why not? Uh, he's underage. He's got a wife. He's definitely he's overage. He's definitely not underage. <laughs> I had to think on the spot. Well, tell me, tell me about this beautiful and mysterious gas station. Quickie Mart. Okay. okay, this beautiful and mysterious gas station. It was a Seven Eleven, at least on the inside. <gasps> but that's, I mean, that's just, that's not in the script. But whatever. <laughs> Damn it! I wanted to be a Quickie Mart. As he walked into the corner store, he noticed something rather strange. The only thing in the store was a giant barrel of lube. Davis then noticed cameras all around him. That moving when he moves, looking where he looks, watching him at all times. It suddenly became clear! He was on a reality TV show, Truman style! What do you want from me? Davis exclaimed. A chanting emerged from somewhere within the walls. Davis could just barely make it out. But what he did here was... Become snail. Become snail. Become snail. What? Confused. He asked, What dost thy lead command of thee? What the...
Davis. Up, Davis. <laughs> you, you became old English. <laughs> All in unison, the voices said, strip yourself, then cover yourself in lube and wriggle. Davis, rightfully rooted out by these demands, thinks, what the fuck kind of loony place have I entered? And so he proceeded to <clears throat> become a snail and proceeded to wriggle around. And as if a switch turned on in his brain, he saw what was happening and what he was really doing. The faces of horrified onlookers and police lights pierced his soul straight into its furthermost corners. God, God what, what am I doing? Davis said, appalled at himself. I've, I've got to get out of this place. I've, I've got to run. Where even am I? As Davis sprinted through the back of a, of a store, of the store, he found himself on a roadside truck stop next to a disparagingly sparsely wooded area. This is not a forest. This is just fucking, like, I don't know, fucking bumfuck nowhere. Davis, it's not in a forest at all. Davis had a fucking mental breakdown and imagined himself in, in a forest. Oh, is, am damn. I getting this right? You'll, you'll learn. Ah. Okay. It's better than nothing, Davis muttered to himself. And so he ran and ran ran. Luckily, he got away, at least for now. Fuck, what the hell was that? Was I drugged or something? Fuck. Deciding he needed sleep, he rested up against a tree and fell fast asleep. When he woke up, he saw people surrounding him, in an all-encompassing circle growing ever tighter. It looked as if they were carrying weapons of some sort. Davis, in the most threatening voice he could muster, out, <gasps> Whoever you are, just just leave me alone! The circle, in response, simply moved closer, encasing him inside a tomb of dread. A hand reaches out to Davis. We're not here to hurt you. We're only here to bring you home and keep you safe. She said in a sincere tone. And just like that, Davis was knocked out. Sedated from a needle he didn't even... When Davis finally awoke, he was in the hall of Mid Bloom's Hospital for the Mentally Un. What? As he was pushed in his wheelchair, he gained more and more consciousness. The supposed wife and subsequent African American man were his daily nurses. The claptrap scenario was him calming off his everyday sedative. The corner store was his mental stability medications wearing off. Davis never had a life. He was put behind the walls of Mid Bloom's when he was only six. The last thing he says before getting to his room is, I just wanted a life. Did you just fucking Leonardo DiCaprio me in that one movie? Don't, what, which movie? <laughs> it's the movie where Leonardo DiCaprio thinks he's like a cop investigating, but it turns out he's just crazy. You're and fucking just... damn right I did! Shutter Island, that's the one. Spoilers. <laughs> It's like fucking 10 years old. Yeah, whoever didn't watch that is a fucking idiot. Oh, I hate them. No, I haven't watched it. What? Neither have I. How do I, I know the I ending? Saw, I, I saw know. a video thesis on it. it pretty... <laughs> hey, but fucking good story. Uh, Thank you. It's, I, it's confusing. It's very confusing, but it's from the perspective of a madman, so I guess it's about right. Yeah, that's yeah. that's like, like, you kept you guys kept asking... Why is he doing this? What is happening? I'm like, I can't tell you. Become snail. Become I mean, snail. like, I don't know. Some sort of grafting in reality would stop those questions. It was just bonkers immediately. <laughs> well, I mean, the guy was bonkers from the start. Like, when he ran, he was running away from the, the, the hospital, right? Yeah. And well, like, you already guessed it. Claptrap was a sort of god. Yeah. On his... Uh, Mental unwellness, like good old on. Yeah, well, like the the good thing is Shutter Island or whatever is that, it's it's kind of kept very vague. Like you can't really tell until the end. Like there's clues, but like you can't immediately be like, oh, this is just insane. You hear that, Merrick? Your story isn't as good as a million dollar blockbuster. You freaking idiot.